And just cover that one there. Good job. Uh, that was crystal apple cucumber. Let's put the seed packet right here. Was this where you buried it or there? Were there seeds there? Okay, so we'll put the seed packet right here with a rock on it so that we'll know which one and when it germinates. We're doing late fall or late summer cucumber and squash, things that will produce a fruit within 30 to 60 days. And then we're doing our fall crops, like our leaves and roots. So anything that falls into a leaf or root category is a great time to plant in Georgia in August. So that's what we're doing. You having fun? Good. All right, so I did little holes a couple of feet apart every, all the way down this row for the cucumbers and squash. And then this row I have three furrows dug so that I can go ahead and seed the smaller seeds. I generally keep my seed packets in categories in Ziploc bags. So like this category, let me see. I think this one's a little bit mixed still. So I haven't sorted it. This one is all different kinds of greens. So it's got dandelion greens and auroch and all of the strange types of greens. And then like this one, it's got all lettuce. Yeah, all lettuce seeds. So a lot of my seeds come from Mary's Heirloom. I have a few from MI Gardener that I was gifted. Uh, I have a bunch from Baker Creek, but I'm not above buying the one cent seed packs at the end of the season from Dollar General either. I do prefer an organic or non-GMO heirloom seed, but I am um, one cent seeds are, you can't beat them. So I am gonna try to get some of my older seeds sown as I go through each of these packets I'm going to be aiming at the older seeds and getting them sown first so that I can use newer inventory in the spring. training those babies good, huh? Eat that good grain? Yeah. Yeah. I have to make sure that I give really high protein grain to the nursing sow and her babies. So we add alfalfa pellets to make sure that she's getting plenty of that good protein and it also helps increase the calcium, which is extremely important in a nursing Sal and her baby. some germination. I think a lot of our seeds got washed away because it rained really hard right after we sowed these seeds. But we do have some things that did not wash away that are germinating out here. 
still got a lot more to plant, that's for sure. So we're gonna be seeding again here soon. Just came out here just to take a quick check on things before the storm hits. We are getting the remnants of Hurricane Ada. And I just wanna make sure everybody's properly secured. Everybody's got the good shelter, food and water. So that is what I am checking on before it gets too dark. Got a new tarp area for the pigs. I just got a new tarp for him and the cows. The cows, of course, don't ever seem to care. They just hang out in the rain or in the woods. And here I've started my little terrarium. Not much yet, but I'm gonna make a pond here and add some more plants and stuff. And it'll be super cute. <laughs> <laughs>